Don't let it get your skivvies in a bunch, friends today, enemies tomorrow. Or was that the other way around? No matter, I'm gone. Maybe they'll let me do some testifying, huh, darn? She's just excited to be part of something. That's okay. Doesn't seem like she's got a lot going on out here anyway. Dude, I want to do that. I want to... Uh, man, how do I get that job? I know she said she's a student and it, it's not... It's a research project. But how do I do that and just chill in my SUV and have like a little camp, camp out, take pictures of the stars? I want to do that for a living. Just sit in the woods by myself. <laughs> What did she see? Guess we'll find out tomorrow. She said there were two photos. Why did we only get to see one? <laughs> Foreshadowing. Police have given up their interviewing. Sir? I guess it is Christmas. I think Santa's mad at you. <laughs> Long time no see, Nick. Nick, are you friends with Santa? Yeah, <laughs> you know Santa? Nick and Saint Nick. Ah, see the connection. Dude, it's me! Oh, it's Larry! I don't remember what voice we gave Larry. Isn't it obvious? I'm working my day job! I sell samurai dogs. Want one? You haven't been here all day, homie. Gotta get money for dates, you know. My girl, Keonce, deserves the best. Keonce? Not another model, I hope. Oh, Keonce's a fine, fine woman, Nick. It was her idea that I wear this costume. She was all, you go, girlfriend, you know? Yeah, is that what she said to you specifically? She bought this costume for me. That's, that's great, Larry. Hang on, I gotta text my mom. <laughs> do, 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 do. Okay. Mother texted. <laughs> wow, a Santa costume. She must be really nice. Whoa, cute. Nick, who's she? She's not your... Don't call her cute. You're also an adult-ass man. She's a literal child. <laughs> I'm his partner, Maya Faye. I'm uh, the little sister. Sister? Nick must be tough. Working nine to five, having to take care of a little sister. No, I'm not Nick's sister. I'm my older sister's little sister. Who's on first? <laughs> Sounds great! Alright. He's literally checked out. Did you see anything? He's with Keonce, obviously. Oof! <laughs> we haven't had a good oof in a while. It's just Keonce's not in town right now. She's in Hawaii on a photo shoot. Yeah? Your real girlfriend was totally legit, absolutely a model, like a real person you're dating. Definitely. She goes to another school. She lives in Canada. Anyway, there is a murder here in the lake trials tomorrow. Defendant is Edgeworth. You don't mean that, Miles Edgeworth. Old Edgy? Yeah, he's a murder suspect. Tell us the truth. Give us the lore. How do y'all know each other? Edgy was in the same class as us in grade school. Hey, Chloe! How goes it? Tell me about the dogs. The samurai dogs? Why are they samurai dogs? I mean, they look kind of gourd-shaped. Yeah, that picture looks pretty fucked up, if I'm being honest. Originally, they were gourd dogs, you know, like guard dogs. Ouch. Samurai thing was Keonce's idea. Change the name and you go, girlfriend. Right, okay. Your cat wants to eat your pizza sandwich. That's so cute. It probably shouldn't, but maybe you can just let it have a little bite. <laughs> Something about that just seems wrong. Get a ton of customers here at the lake with, with the big news. Gordy. Yeah, have you? Because we, I haven't seen a single person all day. His name is Nacho. Nacho loves pizza. That's so cute. Oh my God, a cat named Nacho. What color is he? Nacho, oh my god. Used to hang out all the time. Don't get me wrong, he's always been kind of a stick in the mud. Stay studying all the time, trying to be like father. Oh, he's orange. A little orange cat named Nacho. And he loves pizza. He's got good taste and a good name. 
Yeah, Edgy's pop was a famous defense lawyer back in the day. Yep. Defense, prosecuting, same difference. <laughs> Edgy's got a proboscis on his knee. All right. Turns out Nick might be stupid. <laughs> I mean, Larry. <laughs> Not Nick. He always used to talk about defending the weak who were unable to defend themselves. Man, he used to go on and on about man's duty to society and all that. What a bore. I wonder what changed his mind, though. Do you know Nick? Nick? <laughs> Hello? He used to be more of my brother's cat until he got a GF, so now Nacho hangs out with me after he got over the abandonment. Oh, little guy! <laughs> Little guy. Um, what's Gordy? It's good. He found a companion in you, Chloe. <laughs> it's here in this very lake. A giant mysterious monster. Gordy. Check it out. This is an article from yesterday's newspaper. There's a photo. I wish I could do a good Polly Shore accent because I would like, I mean, impression. Because I would 100% give Larry a Polly Shore voice. <laughs> Wow, it's really real. What? <laughs> Actual Loch Ness monster. Probably just a log or something, right? Yeah, you're totally right. <laughs> Quote here from the person who took the photo. Set the camera to automatic and when we got into the frame, I heard a loud bang like an explosion. Followed by the sound of something slipping into the water. Terrifying. Sounds like a murder. Sure, no problem. That'd be one million dollars. Grow up, Larry. <laughs> to his own friend. He's like, get fucked. <laughs> Grow up. <laughs> All right. I'm bored with you, Larry. I don't know. Maybe Edgeworth will talk to us now. Nope. Something going on here? Not a gumshoe in sight. Hi, Josh. My dearest. If you're looking for Detective Gumshoe, he's in the questioning room. Apparently an important witness turned up. He'll be in there a while. A lot of heart. Okay. Gotta go somewhere else. Edgeworth, talk to us. God damn it. The saddest soundtrack I've ever heard in my life. The photo's blurry. <laughs> Genuinely thought he just couldn't see. Like, damn, I guess I'm just going blind. I miss you too, Josh. Yes, absolutely. I would love to go on a double date. I would love to meet your 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 chief. You know this guy? I don't know. That's why I asked you. Maya said she had seen him before, didn't she? Oops. What about this? It's a camera. You take pictures with it. All right. Maybe Larry is just dumb. <laughs> of course I know. You look at that bona fide junior high graduate. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to make fun of you. <laughs> didn't realize this was the class issue. I was talking about the weird contraption on that camera. It's hard to explain, just forget about it. It's just, <laughs> what an asshole. Uh, I don't know much about that. I'm just a simple vendor of samurai dogs, dig. I'm just bouncing around. Anything new? I always hit R1 because I want to slide to the right. Oh, yeah, the aluminum conversation. Hmm. Okay. Nothing there. I showed him all of our stuff, right? Check it out! Dude, you really helped me back out in that trial. Sorry, I can't really pay you. <laughs> Cause you blow it all on Keyonce. But you can have all the dogs you want. 
Larry, if you let her out your dogs, you won't have any left for the other customers. Hey, no problem if that's what makes her happy, you know? What a good guy. <laughs> Why are they doing this to me again? I don't know. What do you want me to do? I'm tired. <laughs> I'm just gonna take a nap. Oh, we're talking. Okay. Nothing. Just something's been bothering me. Could you show me that autopsy report once more? Oh, I remember. This guy. He's a lawyer that was at the office Mia worked at. I met him once when I went out there to hang out with sis. Grossberg's office. Damn, they didn't fix where that painting was taken from. Looks like shit. <laughs> Old familiar clearing of the throat. You're me as something, are you not? <laughs> I was her understudy, yes, Phoenix, right? Haha, -ha, you and you, you're me as something too, are you not? Her little sister, yes! <laughs> You've grown! You've come to look a lot like your sister, you know? It takes me back. Ah, oh, the days of my youth, like the scent of fresh lemon, you see. Uh, <laughs> sir? Ah, oh, yes, I beg your pardon. Of course you came here to discuss something. What is it then, something the matter? Yes. I like this song. Rocky, stop licking the blanket. Dingus. There was a murder last night. A murder? You haven't heard? I just got up to- you got up, you see. Okay. <laughs> well, Miles Edgeworth shot someone with a pistol. You're supposed to be defending him! <laughs> Who did he shoot? Well, the identity of the victim is still unknown. This is terrible news indeed! Whatever happened to that painting? We know what happened. I do not think it shall ever be coming back home to this office. I can't exactly claim it is stolen. Suppose it's just- it's my just desserts. Old, bitter desserts. Hold on, my pop filter's in my face. I can't see. Okay. Crisis averted. Boop, boop. Boo -doo 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 -doo. This is the moment the crime took place, eh? You can't really say for sure that's Edgeworth. I'm not sure whether that's a good or bad thing. Not sure at all. Oh yeah, we wanted to say, yeah, we wanted to ask him about this guy. I feel as though I've seen this man somewhere before. Oh! <laughs> he was a lawyer here in my office. That's Hammond, Robert Hammond. And you say this is the man Miles Edgeworth shot? Tell us more about the guy. Who is this Hammond guy, anyway? He was the defense attorney in that case. That case? The DL6 incident. The DSL incident. Okay, why does that sound so familiar? Perhaps you remember? I'm sure someone mentioned it during the trial for Mia's murder. That was the incident where the police were so at a loss they used a spirit medium. Was that medium my mother? Yep. The spirit medium, Misty Faye, your mother, contacted the spirit of the victim, but the case was a loss. No conviction was made. The DL6 incident, yes. Happened five years ago. They never caught the criminal, right? Rocky, stop. Licking the blanket. Misty Faye used her powers to talk to the spirit of the late victim. Her testimony led to charges being laid against one man. But Mr. Hammond won the case and the suspect was declared innocent. And the police blamed my mother, calling her a fraud. You were the one who helped her out then, right, Ro Mr. Grossberg? Yes, quite. Thank you. No, please don't mention it. Never thought I'd hear that name again. What does that case have to have anything to do with Mr. Edgeworth? 
has everything to do with Mr. Edgeworth, my dear. The victim in the DL6 incident was none other than his father, Gregory Edgeworth. Oh, shit. No way. If you want to know more, you should ask him yourself. Show him this. I'm sure he'll talk to you. This is a photograph of my mother. Okay. All right. Edgeworth. We have something important to talk about. Holy shit. <laughs> What's this? I was hoping you'd gotten my message the first time. Edgeworth, what about your defense? It's no concern of yours. Guess he hasn't found anyone yet. I ask you about the murder. I'll ask you again, just leave me alone. I'm not doing this to prove I'm tougher because I look down on you. I just don't want you anywhere near this case, understand? Why'd you go to Gord Lake? I have no intention of telling you. Nor, apparently, would you tell Detective Gumshoe. Oh. Okay. Boo -doo -doo. Check it. It's only been a matter of hours since you last visited, yet you've made incredible progress in your investigation. Yeah, I'm epic. <laughs> I'll admit it, I'm impressed, right? You were always single-minded in your work, though. Once you start on something, you always see it through, don't you? About the DL6 incident. I didn't want you to find out about it. That's why I refused your offer to defend me. I'm sorry if it sounded like I thought you weren't up to the job. I just wanted to keep you away from DL6. So, do you still think it would have been better for me to stay away? I don't know, but I see no point in hiding anything from you now. Very well. Ask whatever you like and I'll answer to the best of my abilities. Yay! That was when his dad died. Poor guy. Right before my eyes, he was shot and killed and I saw it all. Aww. My memories from that time are foggy. I suppose it's a self-defense mechanism. In any case, a suspect was arrested. A man. It's pretty clear he was the only one who could have killed my father. The spirit medium they used to talk to my late father said the same thing. It was an attorney by the name of Robert Hammond that cleared the suspect's name. And Hammond... And Hammond is the victim in the Gord Lake murder. Correct. Okay. That spirit medium, that was my mom. What? You mean you're... It's strange. I thought that terrible incident was about to end, and now this. What do you mean? The DL6 incident happened 15 years ago. 15 years ago on December 28th. The statute of limitations on the case runs out in three days! What a coinky dink. When a case's statute of limitations runs out, legally the case never happened. That's one way to put it. Three days from now, DL6 will be closed forever. What happened to the suspect, the one who got off innocent? I don't know, he disappeared from public view. Nobody knows where to. If he's still alive, he'd be about 50 years old now. Guess I can understand why he'd go into hiding. It'd be hard to live a normal life after being a murder suspect in such a big case. So was your father a lawyer? Look at how nice she looks. She just looks so happy. She just wants to ask questions and get to know Edgeworth and be friendly and kind. <laughs> he was. Gregory Edgeworth. He was quite famous at the time, apparently. So you were sort of trying to follow in his footsteps. I'd rather not talk about it. Who would have thought there'd be a photo? Edgeworth, did you shoot him? What do you think, right? I don't think you're at you're the kind to point a gun at anyone, no. So you didn't? No, I didn't. It wasn't me. Right? It pains me to ask you this now. <gasps> Let us defend you. No problem, Mom. I love you. I'll see you later. I'll see you on Saturday. Yeah, of course we will. I'm here for you, my guy. Who would have guessed this day would come? Not me. My chance to finally pay you back. For what? I don't remember ever doing anything for you. Never mind. I guess you really don't need to know. My letter of request, please give it to Detective Gumshoe. Edgeworth's request put in pocket. Okay. H Hello? <laughs> Is there actually an earthquake happening? Good God. Hi, Sarah. 
I didn't even know there was a direct happening today. <laughs> what happened in it? What was it? What happened? He's on the floor in a ball shivering. Oh no! I've heard of running, but curling up in a ball? Mr. Edgeworth doesn't seem like he's going to stand up anytime soon. Let's go, Nick. Oh, just some such and such and so and so. Oh, cool. <laughs> Great. I love me some such and such and so and so. Perhaps a little bit of... A little bit of so and so on top of the such and such. You know, frankly, nothing I'm super pumped for. Oh, that sucks. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just a little bit of stuff. Maybe some things, you know? Some some junk, if you'd have me. We have to give Edward's letter of request to Detective Gumshoe. All right, let's go. Dude, I am straight up sleepy. This is nice, though. I'm very cozy. This is a good game to play when I'm cozy. What's going on here? Eek! There will be an AC update, but they didn't show it off. They just told us to wait for another presentation in October. Oh, well, what the fuck? <laughs> Did they say when in October? Like, is this going to be, like, the end of October? Or can we get something soon? Because, like, I'm I'm not very... I, I've been playing Animal Crossing again lately. Don't get me wrong. You know, I didn't get my full feel of it because I back out whenever I have to do something creative because I have to be in the right headspace. Um, but I would like I would like an update. Oh, and a sick Kirby game. Dude, hell yeah. What kind of Kirby game? Just like your your standard Kirby game? Or is it like a, a scroller? Or... Dude, I miss, I miss two Kirby games. I miss Kirby 64. I don't even remember if that's what it was called. Um... Yo, hi, Manda. We're getting Brewster? Fuck yeah, dude. Oh my god. I can't wait. <laughs> An open world Kirby game. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. No fucking way. Oh, I'm so excited. I miss the Nintendo 64 Kirby game. And I miss Kirby Air Ride. Which was also known as like one of the best GameCube games of all time. Oh my god, I can't wait. Okay, so we're gonna learn more in October and get the update in November. Fucking hype, dude. Pog as hell. Getting Brewster. Oh my god, I can't wait. Also, N64 games are coming to Switch online, but it'll probably cost more. Oh, that's so funny. You guys said the same thing at the same time. That's so cute. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I can't wait. Hell yeah, brother. That's awesome. So maybe I'll be able to play Kirby 64. <laughs> Whatever it was called. <laughs> What's wrong, detective? Wild lady comes in here just a while ago, says she came to talk to y'all after... Hearing what Mr. Wright had to say. What do you mean? What's this all about? We were just talking around. Why are you going around finding more witnesses? I don't know. Why didn't you find her already? When I heard the roost music, I screamed about fell from my chair. <laughs> I'm so excited that you're so excited also. <laughs> you deserve this. You deserve good <laughs> and things to look forward to. We all do. <laughs> you want to give Mr. Edgeworth the death sentence, pal? No, what? I just, I mean, she did some, see, see something. There's nothing I can do about that. I can't go around covering up evidence. You trying to say something about the way I do my job? Okay. Air Ride rips. I want it so bad. I got a GameCube for 12 bucks, but Air Ride runs about 60 to 90. Yep. Dude, that's if you can even find, I want to find it in store, like in a store so bad. I don't know what it is. Like, I don't even just, if I just wanted to really spend a bunch of money. Oh, excuse me. I could just order it online, but... It's usually going to be more expensive. And it's just more fun when I go into one. Chris Pratt is Mario. Jack Black is Bowser. Anya Taylor-Joy is Princess Peach. In what? In what? <laughs> in... In... The Mario... The Mario movie? They're going to make a Mario movie? Is it going to be animated? Or is it going to be live action? Jack Black is Bowser. I'm literally going to pass away. That's one of my favorite people on this planet. I'll watch anything with Jack Black in it. I think it's animated because it's being done by Illumination. Dude, sick. Oh my god, I can't wait. I can't wait. Oh, that's awesome. I'm going to watch the shit out of that. Say psych right now. <laughs> she says she saw Mr. Edgeworth fire the pistol. No fucking way. 
she doesn't know that it was it, it was Edgeworth. You couldn't even tell in the picture. Miyamoto came out himself to talk about it. He's so cute. Oh, dude, I love what a guy. Like the impact. Imagine having that much impact on the entire world in such a positive way. What a guy. She even had a photograph to prove it. Can't really tell who, for, who it is from the photo. That's why she said she's going to enlarge it. Okay. Love Anya Taylor-Joy. Yeah, she's very fucking cool. And she's a very fucking pretty. Love Princess Peach. Love that for her. Dude, Manda, you definitely deserve to get some good news today. I'm so glad that I'm so glad that that made you, that uplifted your day. You deserve it. <laughs> She's gonna testify tomorrow. All right. The other witness canceled. Okay. I about cried. <laughs> Sometimes you just need a little win. You know what I mean? You just need something small in your day. You know, that just. And sometimes that'll be what makes you cry. And that's fine. <laughs> I'm afraid tomorrow's gonna be life or death for poor Mr. Edgeworth. We got a witness who said she saw the very moment of the murder. And we got a photo taken when the shot rang out. Alright. What did me used to say? If he's innocent, there's gotta be something I've overlooked. Alright. Sounds like Mr. Edgeworth is gonna ask the state to assign a public defender. I was just asked to file paperwork. But you still got time, pal. Talk to him again for me, please. You gotta convince him. Yeah, 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 I know. I know. Um, um, I have it right here. Check it out! I'll rip them up and start new ones for you. Thanks, bud. Yeah, Josh, we're getting Brewster in Animal Crossing. Woo! Pog as hell, baby. You guys feel that earthquake a little while back? I was worried. We're fine. I've lived out here my whole life. I'm pretty used to them by now. Hmm? Oh, I wasn't worried about you two. I was worried about Mr. Edgeworth. Oh, right. He did seem to overreact a little now that you mention it. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised. It was a pretty big quake. I'm gonna go check on him. You two go eat and get your rest for tomorrow's trial. Later. That's good. I'm gonna remember that. I'm sure that's gonna be important that Edgeworth freaked out. Maybe I'll actually start playing AC&H again. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I I made a bunch of new changes on my island. You gotta come check it out. There's two areas I made that I'm very proud of. <laughs> I wonder what it is with Mr. Edgeworth and Earthquakes. I almost said Mr. Earthquakes and Edgeworths. He was never that scared of them when he was in school. I would literally play AC for you anytime. I love you. <laughs> Eric, what are you doing after the stream? Would you call me? Gotta catch up? Dude, hell yeah. I, I gotta work after the stream. I'm sorry. I don't know if, if you were here earlier. I was talking about I'm working three jobs right now. So, <laughs> my I, I'm a little packed, but uh, maybe later tonight or manana? If you're not busy, are you working tomorrow? He transferred to another school after fourth grade. Okay. To be continued. Well, we're continuing right now, bud. Save. Let me save and let's move on. Boo -da -boo -boo -boo. That's one of my favorite little jingles in this game. Oh, it's a it's a clock. I thought that was like how many hours we had played, and I was like, why did it go from nineteen to sixteen? <laughs> uh, yeah, let's keep going, man. What's going on? December 26th, District Court. Karma? That's right. Manfred von Karma. He's the best prosecutor there is. Oh boy. Oh god, almost knocked everything over. It's fine, no big deal. He hasn't lost a case in his 40 year career. He is a god of prosecution, right? A god. Yes, definitely, Josh. I'm super down. He'll do anything to get a ver guilty verdict. Anything. So, yeah, I was gonna say, that's what we say about you, but You don't understand. I mean, he'll really do anything. Manfred von Karma is a man to be feared. Quite a claim. Coming from this guy. 
Tell me what it really means to prosecute. Just picture a prosecutor as vicious as me multiplied by a factor of 10. Sounds awful. Now he's trying to get you found guilty. What a creep. Maybe he's planning on losing on purpose to help you out. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> Hasn't lost once in 40 years. Oh God, I just bumped into the microphone, Jesus. Pretty ruthless. Like I said, he's a god among prosecutors. Something like Mia, got him. Don't tell Osha, but I slammed six pints between lunch and clocking out. Josh, you can't do that. You work in construction. <laughs> You're going to die. <laughs> you cannot do that. <laughs> also, I'm assuming you had to drive home. I'm gonna come down there and I'm gonna kick your ass. Don't do that. <laughs> we could really be using me as help right now, don't you think? I can't. Sorry, I tried. I really tried, but I couldn't reach. I think it's because I haven't been training. Powers are weak again. Well, we already figured out that she only Mia Maya Mia only comes out when we uh when we we're, when Maya's very desperate. So it'll happen. I'm sure Maya Mia will come help us out soon. Oh, look at this fucking guy. Oh my god. <laughs> He's got the same little poofy neck collar thing as Edgeworth, but only, like, more intense. Incredible. Sir? You seriously think that I would stand here were I not completely prepared? I hate this guy. <laughs> okay, great. Amiibo Series 5 for Animal Crossing cards will be out sometime too! Dude, nice! I wanna get into Amiibo. I, I wanna- I wanna... Start getting cards or something or those- I always wanna get the little... The little, uh, what do you call it? The little figurine Amiibo. Oh, that's okay! Hi, Mel! Yeah, no problem. You- you- you are not the only one. I didn't even realize there was a direct today. Literally, if it weren't for, like, my friends, like, in my social circle, I would never know when... when this shit was- was going on. Like, ever. Every once in a while, I'll see someone RT something or, or retweet something on- on Twitter or something, and I'm like, oh, okay. Girl, I will mail you your friend Stitches Amiibo. Oh, 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 thank you! <laughs> you don't have to do that, but I love you. <laughs> oh my god, I'm having such a nice time with with uh, with Stitches in my town now, in my in my on my island. I missed this little guy. Oh, I spam Twitter bad with Brewster. Hell yeah, everyone deserves a little bit of Brewster on their on their timeline. <laughs> Describe the incident now. Jesus, this guy sucks. Please, take a look at the map. The murder happened late Christmas Eve around midnight. There was one boat in the very middle of the lake. There were two men on the boat. Now there happened to be a woman camping here on the edge of the lake. At 12.10 a.m., she heard two pistol shots and the boat started to move. It went to two pistol shots. It went towards the boat rental shop. Okay. I'm the one that's supposed to be handling these proceedings. I hate this guy. Oh, hell yeah, Luna! You got caffeine now! Good. <laughs> I'm glad. This guy's an asshole. This dude looks like a Castlevania character! He does! That's so funny. A man called into the station around 30 minutes after midnight. We headed to the scene of the crime as fast as we could. That's where we found Mr. Edgeworth. Now, I didn't suspect him of anything at all, but the next morning, a body was found in the lake. So we had to arrest Mr. Edgeworth. Yikes. I don't like this guy telling me what to do. A man called in. So who was it? Holy. 
start streaming Magic the Gathering Arena and exclusively duel me. <laughs> Can you imagine? I've never played Magic in my life. I just watch it. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, yeah, Aga, uh, Aga Baga, Goo Goo Gaga. Okay. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, cheers. I'll drink to that, bro. <laughs> Figure an energy drink two hours before bed is perfectly reasonable. <laughs> yeah, you'll be fine. It'll, it'll probably be fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah, who is this? You said there was a woman camping there. She was the one who heard the two gunshots, right? <laughs> Thanks, Josh. Love you. <laughs> that woman and the man who called in the report are two different people, obviously. Yeah. Okay, so where's the other guy? Bring them in! They have summoned the woman who was camping. Okay, but where's the other guy? We headed to the scene of the crime as fast as we could. It's where we found Mr. Edgeworth. Now in six packs, got to go over them at all. The next morning, he thought he was found. So we had to arrest him. Um. I'm not getting penalized for pressing, so I'm just gonna do that. How long was it between receiving the report and your arrival? About three minutes? What the fuck? Our motto for the month is get there quick. Oh my god, that's what his voice sounds like? Detective, you will refrain from casually revealing department secrets. I can't stand this guy. I look forward to your next year's salary review. Does this guy have a say in that? <laughs> oh my god. Alright. This man's got his ear pierced, slut! <laughs> That's so funny. Tell me about it, what you do? What do you mean? What do you mean? What was Mr. Edward like when 